Hey you guys! How's it going? It's Sam from VGPG Reviews and today we're going to be taking a little look at some liquids by the guys at Pure Cloud Potions. And I want to give a quick thank you for the guys for supplying these liquids for the purpose of this review. Now today I'm going to be looking at three of their liquids. The first one being Blue Ice, which is described as a blue slush puppy. Aurora, which is described as champagne blended with blueberries and a hint of cherry. Sounds a bit of a peculiar one. And key lime pie, which is kind of, it's kind of self-explanatory. Got a few of me little jotted down notes here just to give you a little price point on these before I get started. So, you can get 30 mils for seven pounds, which is a pretty good price to be honest. 50 mils for 10 pounds, which again is a perfectly reasonable price and 100 mils for 20 pounds. So all good on the price range. And all you have to do for the delivery is just add an extra two pounds. Good price, it's a good price. It's not too dear and it's, it is affordable. One little thing I wanted to point out. I don't know if this is me being a bit finicky on it, but when I first got these liquids, I was quite shocked by the color that I received them in. Now, these have been steeping for a little bit, uh, the colour hasn't changed at all, and they are very bright colours. I mean, I know there's other liquids out there, like Pinkman and Heisenberg by Vampire Vapes that use their colouring as well, but that, that is, that's a lot of colouring. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I think there's quite a lot of colouring in there. But it does look rather pretty. Right, I've kind of started up this video on, like, a little bit of knowledge about it, but I think these are 70 30. So 70 VG, 30 PG. And you get some nice squeezy bottles. I love a good squeezy bottle. And the liquid doesn't seem to be too runny, which is a good sign already. So without wasting any more of your time, let's start reviewing these. First one I'm gonna try is Key Lime Pie. Let's trip her up. Okay, so I'm running this on a 0.4 coil at 60 watts. Taste and vapor production test on the key lime pie. Here we go. Okay, so on that one, you do get a, it's not a massive throat hit. I think it's more of a citrusy throat hit because of the lime in it. But there's a very prominent lime taste in there with a very slight biscuit undertone on there. But if you're a person that likes your lime vapes and doesn't, you know, like too much of a biscuit taste in there. I like this one. So yeah, that one's nice. Give that one a go. It's good liquid for blowing O's as well, I'm not gonna lie. Blow them O's. Right, next up on the firing line is something that I haven't really tried before. It's a bit of a peculiar one. So this is Aurora, which is the champagne flavor with the blueberry and hint of cherry. Let's drip her up. Proper dyes the cotton. But although it looks tasty, don't eat it. Tip of the day. Okay, so taste and vapor production test on Aurora. Here we go. Now that is odd. You can taste the bubbly champagne sort of flavor in there, like, the flavour on it, you can, it does kind of simulate the bubbliness of the champagne, which is very peculiar. I've, I've never tried a champagne vape before, so it's not too bad. I wouldn't have it as an all-day vape, but as an occasion, yeah, it's just it's, it's just weird. And there, I, I can't taste too much of the blueberries or the cherry. Um, there is a slight hint of cherry, but the blueberry is kind of hidden by the champagne. I. I, I do like it, but there's a couple hidden flavours in there. And last up on the firing line, we have Blue Ice, which is the blue slush puppy. Let's drip her up. Okay, so taste and vapour production test on Blue Ice. Here we go. You do get good clouds with this liquid, not gonna lie. They live up to their name on the bottle. That Blue Ice one? The menthol in there, it does simulate a, a cold slush puppy kind of flavour. Um, it, it's a bit of a weird one for me. When I have this, 
I can kind of taste like a WKD blue. Please don't ask me how I know that. So yeah, if you can imagine, <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird that I pointed this out, but my taste buds can taste like a WKD slush puppy. It, it, it sounds weird, but if you try it, it's quite nice. It's, it's a different flavour. It's not your usual blue slush, but I like it. So, final verdict. Would I buy this liquid? Uh, I mean, yeah, of course I'd buy this liquid. The prices are reasonable. It is good liquid for clouds. It's good liquid for flavour. Um, yeah, again, like I said, the, the colouring is a bit daunting for those of you that may first try it and are like, Is that safe? Is that too much colouring? But yeah, they, they are really nice liquids. 